We're standing today to bring attention to the genocide happening in Tigray, which is the northern part of Ethiopia. Uh, for 322 days now, the people have been under siege at the hands of the federal government. Um, they are preventing humanitarian access from going to the people. Um, several reports have come out stating that there is potential of 90% of the population in the region alone at starvation, risk of starvation. Uh, we're not able to speak to our families in Tigray. There's a complete telecommunications block within the region and again imposed by the government, the federal government. Um, we're hoping that Biden hears our call, our cries. Uh, this week he's issued an executive order uh, sanctioning Ethiopia and requiring that they, uh, excuse me, requiring that they immediately remove all Ethiopian forces, all Eritrean forces and Mahara militia uh, to prevent further sanctions. Uh, so we're hoping that we just keep moving forward and the people that took out will finally be free, have access to food and water, uh, we'll be able to speak with them and and end to this genocide. We are calling on the UN um, to hold a UN-led only investigation uh, throughout Ethiopia. Again, it cannot be a joint investigation with the Ethiopian Both government or any agency that is associated and affiliated with the Ethiopian government. You cannot act, ask the criminal to investigate their own crime. Uh, so, with you'll see the UN-led only investigation. It's we have to call it a genocide. We have to call it what it is, and we need the U.S. to intervene and save the people of Tigray.